So this is the solution for Sikos 1.2. So the first thing that I started to do is uh, after I verified what the IP address was, then um, I saw that ports 22 and 80 were open. I did run a curl command to uh, see if I could read the robots.txt, but it didn't exist. So the next step was to run Durbuster to uh, see if I could find um, any directories that, uh, that might be hidden. So I'm going to run this command. And I had actually run the common.txt first, but didn't come up with anything, so I'm going to run the big one now. And so what it comes back with is it lets me know that there is a test directory. So we want to go ahead and check that out. So when you go to port 80, you'll see that there's an image here. I actually downloaded the image, took a look at it uh, through the uh, the exfiltration tool and didn't find anything of significance but when you go to the test folder you realize that uh, there's actually some uh, interesting abilities that can be done so when you run this curl command uh, to figure out what particular HTTP verbs are supported it's interesting because you find this uh, profind, which is an indicator of web, of web dev. Also, you can see that the put command is there. So this is a really good indicator that we should be able to upload our web shell. So I actually just used the PHP reverse shell that comes in Kali. Uh, and I used this really handy in-map script uh, called HT put to to put it up there and um, basically after you run that um, then all you need to do so long as your reverse shell is pointing back to your Kali machine you just need to have netcat listening on whatever port was um, defined and then click this link and I'll show you that right now so I've got my netcat listening and I'm um, just going to go ahead and click my reverse shell. And as you can see, I now have um, I now have a shell on the machine. Now unfortunately, I am you know, I'm running as what the web server runs as. So at this point, I want to escalate my privileges to uh, to root. One other thing of note uh, there, there seem to be a lot of ports closed on this machine, so I actually ended up using uh, 443 for the port number to talk back to Kali. Now, another tip from Got Milk is uh, you always want to check out your environment. You know what operating system on you're running on. What is the version? Also, another thing that's interesting is if you go under Home to see what kind of accounts are there. Looks like there's only one user account by the name of John. So that might be something of interest. Um, but I think what we're really looking for is the flag and that's going to be under slash root. So in this particular instance, we actually need to take a look at the cron and what's scheduled in the cron. And what we find here is the uh, change root kit or the check root kit. So the check root kit, uh, if you Google that, you actually find that there's an exploit. Now the I downloaded the source, and uh, basically, if you take a look at the raw, it's got a bunch of comments in here. So you, you kind of just need this portion right here uh, to run the script. I just ran it as a bash shell. What I did is I uploaded it, you know, to that test directory where I'm able to upload stuff. I did create, I followed the instructions here. 
it says uh, put an executable file named update with a non-root user and uh, and then run the the check root kit and so inside of the file of update I actually put the location of the flag under slash root and then change the perms and then ran this script and basically uh, that allowed me to to get that flag and to see that flag so because I had some problems with actually creating the file of update of the the things I didn't have permission to do on the system I created it on the Kali machine and then I uploaded it to that test directory and then from there uh, I was able to copy it to temp and that's what I'm going to do now and then I'll run the exploit script So I had to make sure that my file update was actually executable and then after the cron runs then you can see that the, the flag file is, is then placed in that temp directory. So all I have to do is just cat this. And you can see that the puzzle is now solved. 